Hey guys, thank you for joining me again on my Space Engineers um, solo walkthrough. Um, so a quick catch up on the last one. We managed to get a couple of solar panels and a wind turbine and a battery on the main base with a basic assembler and a basic refinery. We also managed to put some solar panels onto the rover, which honestly has is going to serve us so well. So this episode I intend to get the refinery down um, and the new assembler. Uh, inside my own time I've gone round and found a couple of the ores and tagged those up and I've also built a new small cargo container and connected the cargo container, the refinery and the assembler with a connector so I can interact with it. This should help speed things up as I will no longer need to move resources between the refinery and the assembler and it will just make things a little bit more efficient for me. So let's see what we can get done today and hopefully this will be a shorter episode than last time and we will be aiming to get the refinery and assembler and the survival kit finished today. Oh, I know why I can't do this because I need a normal refinery don't I? Even actual refinery. Okay, okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this in a sensible manner. He says. We can't actually build this until we do. Um. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm trying to think how to do this. Uh. Have we done? enough refining. Right, let's make sure we have all the items. So, refinery. It can replace number six. Fucking huge monstrosity. steel plates. Holy mother of Jesus. Steel plates. So we can place this thing and have a look at it. Right, so we... So that would have it here, wouldn't it? But that also means I need free space to the left of it. So I think we place it behind this, and then we can just replace this with a straight piece, can't we? We can rebuild it later. So, some steel blocks put down. So I've placed him here. <laughs> and I've tried to place it there. Oh, something's in the way, I'm pretty sure it's me. Okay, so go one forward. No, oh, not that. Okay, one of those. Place this here. No. No. So, oh, I don't want this. Did I want it like that? I think I might be how I wanted it to be fair. Only 1200 steel plates. Let's get that started first. Production. 1200 steel plates. 40 construction.
20 computer, 20 metal grid. 20 metal grid, 20 computer. What else do we need? 16 motors, so 20 motor, 20 large steel tube. 20 motor, 20 large steel tube. Okay. That'll get the refinery up and running. We're going to need more space for the assembler. We're also going to need a lot more power, so what do we need for our the 40 interior plates? 24 girders. So, uh, 40 interior plates. Do 200 of those, 100 of those, 100 of those. What else does this need? Use those construction components. Do 200 construction components as well. I'm gonna need a lot of iron for this. Yep. Anyway, uh, I need like 10k iron. Need more nickel, more silver. Oh no, the silver's fine. Need more cobalt though, but I don't know if that's just because it's not being pulled in. Yeah, so we've got the cobalt, we've got the silicon. Just need nickel and a shit ton of iron. Yep. Yeah. I guess. I guess we should do the nickel first, shouldn't we? this doing for ice? Ah, oh, okay, it's got loads of ice still. Alright, so nickel, we're fine. We just need a load of iron. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's here anyway, so... Maybe I should have built the assembler first. I mean, it shouldn't matter because obviously once I've got this done, um, I can relax a little. He says. So, how much iron is available here? Still gonna need like 5k iron. So that should be about right, I think. The sum of this now is just wait for it all to get through, like work through all of this. I won't be able to do the silver, but that's, that's just how it goes. I will say there's a little bit of me that's like, do I, uh, do 
we add another basic assembler for now. Or even tr see if we can build an assembler. We can. <laughs> Requires a lot of the same stuff. Okay. Assembler. Oh wait, no. I want this on. Number one, don't I? Because it can replace the basic assembler. So if we built it here, we need 120 or 140 steel points. And there, we basically got that already. It's not going to have anything fancy on it, but it's going to have some steel points. Ten displays, that's something I don't think I needed. Well, actually, what we should do is 100. But add some extra stuff. Put them in there. That's about right. Eighty construction. Twenty motor. Hundred sixty computer. Production. So what do we want? We want eighty motor. Put another hundred in. They can go up there before that, and we need another hundred and. Obviously, going to need more iron now. We're also actually going to need another one of these. Which means what? Another 20 interior plates, 30 construction, 20 small steel tubes, 6 motors. Motors. steel tubes funny interior plates got the motors 30 construction somewhere as well. Let's go get some energy back. So hopefully we can hook up today a new assembler and a new refinery we are definitely going to need more power because that's the one big thing I'm not focusing on I guess I can drop these into this, can't I? This and then this can move to the back again. Then.
I gonna have enough iron? I don't think I will. Oh. just the construction. This is going to need 10 more metal grids. Not in production are they? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That needs to go for that. That needs to go for that. So now we have a real assembler working. But it's not connected until we have some more construction components. Okay, so we're actually out of iron now. <laughs> Can't wait to have a decent mining ship or some sort of miner so I don't have to do this all by hand. I maybe should have focused on that instead of this, but I feel like not having any ability to refine it once I do get it home is probably worse than like, uh, worse than having to manually dig everything up. But then, with I don't know if it's the mod I have or what, but with how things are set up, um, stone is useful which is a massive thing. So you know when you come back and you've got like a majority of your inventory is full of stone in your nice new ship, that won't be a problem. And that'll actually be useful for once. Okay, go back up with this. Now we need to re-energize. I was going to say, how is it warm? But it's because I'm inside, isn't it?
Alright, so we need some large steel tubes and some metal grivets. Now I just need the five large steel tubes. Right, now what we can do is we turn off the basic refinery, take everything out of its inventory, we dismantle it. So we need 15 interior plates, 12 small steel tubes. So we need some iron. refinery should be connected we should be able to make silver but we need to make sure we get the iron first and this should be in such a position that I can put modules on it when I need to this assembly is gonna have to move but that's not a massive thing uh, this is the basic assembly we can dismantle that now really I'll leave it in for now though. Okay, so what do we need to make? We need to make some more power, don't we? So we need some interior plates. Oh, we have some. So let's just go up here and how many are we going to make? Or how many can we make at the moment? We can place one. From that more of these it does have to be hmm I don't know if I actually want them like that because they're going to block the thing then aren't they going to block the sun on these ah you know what that looks to it let's put a couple more in there has to be two in between them and then you can drop the next one down ok so we're making three Ooh, caught myself. Okay, I'm actually going to need to refill that. So what do we need? You need all of those. Some of those, some of those. Okay, can't do it because we've got too many of the other one. Alright, so that's all the interior plates. Alright, so we need motors construction and girders. Motors, construction. Do we have more girders? We have more girders.
Hey. Wait, right, I can to build them all. Little battery should be filling up nicely, I think. Oh, we can put back on the one, two, three medical components as well. Now we can start making the cool stuff. So we can make the reactor components, the thruster components. Yeah, so we couldn't have made a wetsuit before, could we? You know what? Basic assembler, turn it off. All of its inventory up here. I'm just going to scrap it. Served a purpose. It no longer does. Gets in the way. Alright, so production. They've been done. Awesome. That means we can finish this bad boy. Now, we can respawn here. And we can also charge our suit from the station which is ace so where's the battery what's happening with this when input is higher than its output that's good so it should be charging and fully recharging one hour nice we have our faction don't we yeah So as well, what has this allowed us to do? Um, I think we're able to make the better tools now as well. Yeah, I can't make those because I don't have platinum. But I could make the next tier up. Should be cobalt, silicon and silver in there. Oh, now we can start saying I want to build a battery or I want to build this so happy with this like, I want to build an ore detector these are small blocks but I can do this with large blocks as well so guys this wraps up this episode I hope you've enjoyed it I will be putting up on the screen a link to my Twitter and to my stream in case you want to catch out or catch me in some of my other games like Escape from Tarkov. However, we will be creating a new episode every week for Space Engineers. I'm really enjoying playing this game again. It's been a very long time since I've played this. There are little nuances like at the very beginning of this I didn't realize you couldn't put silver in a basic refinery. So I'm definitely looking to the comments to find out how this is going, where I can improve. It will help me so much guys. Um, hopefully you'll be able to catch my episode next week and I will see you there. Bye guys.